The Arizona Cardinals have released DeAndre Hopkins. I'm going to explain why the New York Jets need to be all over this ahead of Memorial Day weekend. Let's go. Zoinks? It is unequivocally the Super Bowl for New York Jet fans. Field Gates, baby. Field Gas Guardians. Let's bring him on the show. Come on, people. Connor Rogers is on the show. What's up, Connor? But Trevor Gaston Sikama, baby. For me, personally, my favorite New York Jet of all time. Wow, it's great to be on. What an intro that was right there. Paul, you, nobody does an intro like you, man. Paul, you, you give the best intro of literally any podcast that I'm, I've, I've ever seen. I'm going to lose my gas darn bananas. Hey everybody, my name is Paul Eston Jr., a.k.a. Boy Green. I'm the New York Jets digital reporter for Heavy.com. And every once in a while, I get a little surprised in the NFL news cycle. And the Cardinals straight up cut DeAndre Hopkins. I didn't see this coming. I thought some team would be willing to give up something to go acquire Hopkins. But no, he gets straight up cut. The Cardinals will eat the entire dead cap hit this year. They're going to be terrible anyway. Number one pick, here they come. So he reaches unrestricted free agency. And the New York Jets absolutely, unequivocally, have to be all in on this. And let's go through the reasons why. First off, there's a receiver on the roster that a lot of us are like, is he really going to be there? That's Corey Davis. This is a guy who's entering the last year of his deal, and he doesn't have one guaranteed penny on this contract. The dead cat is uh, the dead cap hit would be minimal for the Jets, $666,000. That's how much is uh, going to be a dead cap hit for this. Let's break it down like this, okay? DeAndre Hopkins is better than Corey Davis. DeAndre Hopkins wants a little scratch, especially after what he saw Odell Beckham Jr. got. No problem. Think about it this way. You move on from Corey Davis. You trade him for something, whatever, and you literally flip him and give his pile of money and push it over to DeAndre Hopkins. Because while DeAndre Hopkins has had some injury issues, obviously, over the last handful of years, so has Corey Davis. I'd much rather gamble on DeAndre Hopkins, who has a much higher ceiling, Okay, and give him my pile of money, then give it to Corey Davis. So DeAndre Hopkins is a better player than Corey Davis, and you have this unique situation where you can move on from a player at this stage of the offseason and move the money over. When you acquire Aaron Rodgers, you are going all in. So when you have an opportunity to go all in, the Jets flirted with OBJ. They were heavily aggressive. Sauce Gatna told Sports Illustrated that this man... OBJ was so, you know, gung-ho and happy about potentially signing with the Jets. He was already looking at jersey numbers. So he was already all in, and so were the Jets. But when that ship sailed and he signed with the Ravens, the Jets didn't pivot to another move. They didn't sign any other wide receiver after that point. They had all their wide receivers in-house, which says to me that they were willing to upgrade the unit for the right guy. They thought OBJ was the right guy. That didn't pan out. But now DeAndre Hopkins has an opportunity to be the right guy here. So there's a lot of selfish reasons the New York Jets should want to get DeAndre Hopkins because he's better than Corey Davis and he can plug and play right away. You want to know the other reason? And this is maybe even bigger. You can't let your competition get DeAndre Hopkins. If the Jets don't pick up the phone, you want to know who's going to? The Buffalo Bills are going to. You want to know who else? The Kansas City Chiefs. You want to know who else? The Baltimore Ravens. The top teams in the AFC are going to come calling for DeAndre Hopkins, who now is only going to cost you a pile of money. No draft compensation required. And now that he's been officially released and the Cardinals announced it, you can call Hopkins right now. Now, it'll be interesting to see, does this come together very quickly? This news coming on Friday, we're in the middle of Memorial Day weekend. He could sign before Memorial Day weekend is up. He could take his time. But the Jets can't get complacent in this sense. What they need to do is go all in. Because even if, you know, you're like lukewarm on DeAndre Hopkins, the chance to make sure your competition doesn't get them makes it almost worth it within itself. And of course, you would want DeAndre Hopkins for the ceiling he brings. If you're interested in OBJ, you're interested in Hopkins, who, by the way, Hopkins played last season. He has proven to be 
a star player, and so is OBJ for that matter, but we've seen better Hopkins more recently than we've seen OBJ recently, if we're being honest with ourselves. So is it a risk? Of course it's a risk. But when you push your chips in the middle of the table for Aaron gosh darn Rodgers, that means you need to send a message to the rest of the organization, the NFL, that we're all in everywhere. And if you're all in everywhere, then you're all in on DeAndre Hopkins. This dude is talented. He's massive. He's got the dreads. He's got the look. He's got the star power. And then he can play with Aaron Rodgers. Now, we've seen the Nuggets on social media joining this podcast and this podcast, and it doesn't seem like he's so enthralled with, uh, you know, uh, picking the New York Jets. I'd still kick the tires because you want to know what? Money talks, Aaron Rodgers talks, and a chance to win a Super Bowl championship talks. Now, maybe this is a money grab. Maybe all he wants is a pile of money and get the most money he can. If he, and if that's what he wants, God bless. Don't complain when you're losing, but if that's what you want, just a random pile of money, fine. But all the contenders are going to be in the mix here, which means the New York Jets by default have to be in the mix. Jet fans, it's time to rally. It's time to add a new piece to the puzzle because the Jets were pursuing OBJ. Now they need to go get Hopkins. This guy is a freaking superstar. That's what he is. And he would bring some chutzpah to this offense. He would allow, uh, you know, uh, the flexibility against other defenses where defense have to go, do we go one-on-one with Garrett Wilson? Do we go one-on-one with DeAndre Hopkins? Oh, yeah, they have Alan Lazard and Michael Hardman and Brees Hall and all these wonderful pieces you guys already know. Add Hopkins in and let's roll the ball out and see what can happen. You have a chance to add star power to help uh, Garrett Wilson to bring more weapon weaponry to your offense. This is what I want to see. I'm all in. The Jets should be all in for themselves. They should be all in so none of their competition gets this guy. And of course, like I said, it's risky. He's getting older, DeAndre Hopkins. He's supposed to turn uh, 30 years of age, okay, uh, by the time the season rolls around. he's, he's uh, Or he's 30 right now, excuse me. He will turn 31 before the season gets here, which should be in another uh, week and change is when his birthday is. So, again, he's an older player. He's about to turn 31, but he's got credentials, baby. A three-time first-team All-Pro, a two-time second-team All-Pro, five Pro Bowls, led the league in receiving uh, touchdowns back in 2017. I mean, he's dynamic. You look at the numbers, 853 catches, over 11,000 yards and 71 touchdowns. Why wouldn't you want to bring that kind of talent to the New York Jets and bring that to a team that believes they're all in and has championship aspirations? If that's true, they're going to go all in. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in for this quick episode. Make sure you like the video. Hit subscribe down below for more fantastic New York Jets content right here on the program. What do you think? Do you want DeAndre Hopkins on the New York Jets? Let us know in the comments below and enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. Thanks, everybody.